Dan with Guardian Mold Prevent here. Want to take a look at a property with you that is located in Naperville, Illinois. This property is a bank-owned foreclosure property. Uh, it is vacant and has been sitting for quite some time. And um, as relayed to us by the uh, broker that, that is listing this property, the basement has seen water multiple times. Uh, several times the sump pump itself has been out because the power was out. One time the pump burnt out because it was uh, running so much. But uh, water was able to get into this basement several times. And uh, as a result, it caused quite a bit of damage uh, in this basement. You can see that there are areas where there's just water damage. But you can also see that there are quite a few areas where there's a considerable amount of mold growth growing. Now, in a few areas of this home, you can tell that uh, they had a, a contractor come in, most likely Joe Contractor, who's not qualified to take care of a mold issue. And uh, what a contractor like that will do is he will come in with a product. Uh, most of the time they come in with kills, which is a paint primer, but some kind of a white priming product that they can spray right over the top of mold um, and cover up the staining to uh, make it look more aesthetically pleasing. The problem that you run into is that, number one, those painting, uh, paint primer products like Kills do not have any antimicrobial properties to them. So they're not meant to be applied uh, in the case where there is a mold uh, problem or, or they're not meant to be used for mold remediation. Uh, the second problem with them is, is that essentially all they do is cover up or mask a problem, and many times they are applied to a porous material like drywall, as you've seen in some of this uh, footage here, and unfortunately, once mold is growing on drywall, there is no way to remove it from uh, the drywall because drywall is a porous material and there's no way to extract the mold from uh, drywall. Now, in several areas of this basement, there, are, there is paneling. Uh, once we get into actually doing the demo here, where you're going to ex take the paneling down to expose the actual drywall that the uh, previous homeowner uh, had installed the paneling over, when we get the paneling down, uh, from our experience, uh, we have found that uh, the drywall that is behind paneling, if it gets wet, uh, the mold staining will be more significant. The amount of mold growth behind the paneling will be more significant than if the drywall had been exposed itself. And I want you to notice very quickly that there are 9-inch floor tiles in this basement. Many of them are loose. But the reason they will be left in place during their mold remediation project is because a very uh, high percentage of those 9-inch tiles were made with asbestos. So when we're finished, we will have an asbestos removal company come in and remove those floor tiles. Now we're looking at the after footage, and as you can see, we have treated all the uh, exposed foundation walls and the framing that were left behind after the demo with an acrylic-based mold-resistant coating. But to sum up the project as a whole, we start by bringing in a, an air scrubber, or uh, they call them a negative air machine, and we create negative air pressure so that not, we're not exchanging air from the workspace into the rest of the living space. We then remove all of the porous material, so the drywall, the insulation, the trim, paneling. All those items get bagged, uh, tied, and then brought out uh, of the home and discarded. And then once we get down to the semi-porous and non-porous surfaces, so you've got your, um, your framing members, you've got your uh, foundation walls, you've got your foundation floor, wherever the tile would have come up or has come up, uh, those items get treated with a biocide, which is a product that kills mold on contact. We then physically scrub those surfaces down, and then we treat them with an acrylic-based mold-resistant coating. Uh, that coating will prohibit mold growth uh, on the coating surface. Uh, the air scrubbers are then, or the negative air machines, are then left for several days post-remediation to ensure that we're running all the air through HEPA filtration. And then we contract an independent third-party firm to come in and perform clearance testing in the property to make sure that the air quality is at an acceptable level.